All right, guys, this is the most unique way to go about a cum and swap that I've ever seen, and I love every minute of it. Check out Mike's cum and swap and his uh, Suburban. Was it Suburban? You know why I can't remember? Because this was filmed months and months and months ago. I don't want to hear anything about quarantine stuff. I can't even remember what it was in. If you haven't checked out our International Quarantine Car Show, do that as well. Upload your own projects. This one would go under the Ingenuity or the Minty category, and you'll see exactly why. Here we go. All right, we are here with Mike. And Mike, what do you got? 93 GMC Suburban with a 95 12 valve. So my son says to me, he says, why are all the good YouTubers from Canada? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so who else is he talking about? I don't know who he watches. <laughs> All right, Mike, tell us the story of the truck. What's uh, what's going on? Well, it's a 93 Suburban. Started its life as a 454. My friend stole the motor out of it and put it in his uh, K5 Blazer. So I bought it from him, put a 6.5 in it, blew up once, put another 6.5 in it, blew up again, decided not to go back with the General Motors, uh, six junk. So this is where it became. This is almost as much Dodge as it is Correct. GM. Yeah. Yes, I, it is. So this is kind of unique because I've never seen it done this way before. But it works. It's great. Right. Yeah. Um, it's complete Dodge driveline. It's from the uh, all the way to the rear end. The rear end is the only thing that's GM. The dry shaft is Dodge. Okay. Transfer case, transmission. So you move the wiring, the dash, steering everything. column, everything. Yeah. everything the only yeah. thing, the only wiring harness that's left that's do uh, GM is. One of these ones that go to the tail lights. Okay, so even the lights. The yes, headlights, headlights harness, everything. Oh, okay. I put the complete, I wanted the cruise control. Yeah. I couldn't figure it out like you did with the cruise control. Yeah, so. I never got a cruise working. No, I so want a cruise control. Yeah, so yeah. I got the cruise control by doing the whole drive line. The, yeah, the, yeah. I wanted the overdrive, everything the way it was supposed to be. Right. And it all works out pretty good. It's yeah, been, and that's probably still cheaper than buying the adapter plate and the transmission had, controller and all that. With the truck. And uh, after selling all the parts from the six fives and this, I think it paid me like 600 bucks. <laughs> That's awesome. It's all the Dodge radiator. Oh, okay. Uh, everything. So, so how did that fit? You just had a trim right here. Okay. And just a little bit in the top and then it dropped right in. There and yes, all I had to do is redrill the holes. Okay. And, and clearances, the hood and everything Bye. closes it. Perfect. No, I love the Chevy Orange. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That Is that just a, like, yeah, just to rub it in people's faces? That was faces? just, yeah, exactly what that was. No, I came stock with it. It's like a work in progress. <laughs> it's, it's all a work in progress, but that's all right. You drive a... Uh, 100 miles a day. A day, wow. So Cummins only makes sense. Right. Yeah, it, there, there it really got, is I think my else. friend said it got eight miles to the gallon. I think I'm getting somewhere in the 15. Yeah, and no, that's that, that's what you should be. Doing. Yeah. Anybody who says they're getting 20 above is lying. That one gets 20. <sighs> <laughs> okay, but it's a two-wheel drive, yes, regular uh, cab yes, truck. Yes, yeah, yes. okay. Yes. I will, I'll let that one go. <laughs> <laughs> so the four-wheel drive still works? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Okay, not yet. so that's just like shaft. Just, yeah, the front dry shaft is, I just gotta make it. Okay, basically is it all it is. too long or too short? It's too short. Uh, too short. Because you move too short. So I you, did have to, you do have a body lift in it? Yes, it's got a three inch body lift. And that's to clear the tranny tongue. Well, that was on it. But yeah, I believe you have to do that to put these motors in these and trucks. The as a body the firewall. Lift. You didn't have to cut anything. You just just as there's that. like an inch sticks out from the firewall. I just had to cut that off. Yeah, yeah, that lip where the two yep. were welded. That together. was it. I yeah. snipped that back and that was all I really had to do. Right on. <laughs> Dodge. So. <laughs> I miss these seats. Yes, sitting in the Ford all week. <laughs> these I put pulled out of a Chevy we were scrapping. Yep. And not all tore up. That's amazing.
Have you always been a Cummins guy? Or? No. No? It's no. All... I, honestly, I was a 6'5 guy. Then uh, after all that, a customer came in with his Cummins truck and I went for a test drive in it and I'm like, wow, this thing just tears my 6'5 and a half. Have you driven a Duramax or a late power yeah, truck? Yeah, it'll suck sludge and still run it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only thing better is a two-stroke truck. Correct. Yeah, and I don't think that your neighbors will really no, appreciate it. No, I don't think they'll enjoy it. I don't know how much they like this one. <laughs> It sounds nice. What exhaust you got? Uh, four inch. Okay. I've never sat over here. It's weird, isn't it? No, oh, I'm good. It's it just... <laughs> you don't look good. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. How long did it take you to build it? Uh, about seven months. Okay. About seven and that's months. that's. After uh, work. Around your day yeah, job. Around yeah, around my day job. And you, you know. are a mechanic? Yes. Okay, so you got decent tools and you yeah, got... I yeah, I mean, I got a little shop. I got a welder. You know, I got all these things. That okay. I, I don't have a lift, so it was all on the ground. Yeah. yeah. That's why I bought my lift, because I'm like, I don't want to crawl on the ground. That was, that was for my That was for my Silverado first coming swap. Oh my God, yeah. So how long have you had it on the road now? Uh, I've had this together three years, I think. So then you have the other one as a daily and you're just yeah, working is, on this one? This one I drive and depends on how I feel that day. Nice, it's nice having that option. The other one I drive because it's keep the miles off of this one. Oh, okay. This is more of the nicer truck. Obviously. Yeah, so you, you rebuilt the whole engine and everything yes, too? correct. Uh, okay. Rings, bearings, I did head studs, uh, the head I had shaped down just the clutch. Okay. But I do all my heads whenever I have them yeah. off. I take, take them, them off. Apart. I just clean at least clean the rough edges off of them. Yep. And then it's an HX40? Yes. Okay, and Governor Springs, 4,000? 4, 4,000. I shaved the fuel plate to zero. Made my own, uh, what is it, three AFC housing. And then you're still running the Dodge transmission. Too. Correct. That's that 40, that's great. the 47 RH. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so the speedometer, is it accurate? Yes. Even, so even with the 411 rear? Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, you got bigger tires yeah. on it or no? Because the Dodge. Fives. Okay, so it's slightly bigger. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. yeah. What came on us originally. So that might make up the difference, yeah, because it should be three seventy threes. Right. No, it's four yeah. times in this. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, it's a good, it's a good fit. My the, the Cummins in mind for some reason with the four L eighty wasn't a good match with the four elevens. I was revving it out. Really? Yeah. So I went with three seventy threes. I think it does pretty good. I mean, yeah. I, I, before I fixed the uh, air AFC housing on the back. Yep. I had a hard time going past like 65. Okay. But ever since I messed with that, it, just, it doesn't stop now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until it runs out of gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. it. Does its job. So what's left to do? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> um, front dry shaft. Yeah. Uh, obviously hook up the linkage, but that's nothing. Yeah. You, you uh, said you want to do something with the dash yet, or? Yeah, I want to redo the dash so when at night turn the headlights on the reflection reflects on the windshield so it's hard to see oh okay. you see all your gauges up on the dash oh okay so i want to put something over this or... okay how did you get your speedometer to match <laughs> i used my gps put the cruise control at 45 pop the needle off and put it back on at 45. <laughs> that's all i did i love it it shouldn't work in theory <laughs> I didn't think this truck would bring any interest. Oh yeah, no, the, the this is a great truck because anybody can do it, right? right? And and that's what it, it was it, really simple. I just yeah, just and, a and normal little mechanic yeah. did it out of my garage at home with a yeah, yeah. $500 welder. I mean, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Mike, thanks a lot for uh, showing me that. That's, uh, no problem. Yeah, no, that was a nice long drive that uh, we appreciate it. Um, I know there's some stuff going on in the back there that uh, is really cool, but we're not going to talk about that right we now. Just maybe discuss that next time. Yeah, we'll discuss that next time. All right, thanks again, man. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. If you guys have rides, uh, definitely fill out the submission down below. Um, you got the links and everything. Uh, we need pictures and we want to be able to drive it and stop it. Um, kind of important. 
But uh, if you build it and you're proud of it, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, if it's got a throttle, we want to put it on the channel. So remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.